Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Konnichiwa everybody and welcome to the class. I hope that you are all enjoying the class and learning something new every day and using it in conversation. So please try to use as much as you can whatever you have done in class. Practice with your friends, practice with your partners and try to do as much Japanese as you can. Well, now before I actually start with the lesson, as always, we will first do our assignments, go over the assignments and then learn something new today as well. So, well, the first assignment that I gave you was write opposites and make sentences with the words given below. Well, match kanji in group A with group B, readings are given over here. So, well, this is your kanji. I hope you got it right. Now, we had two sentences in this and you were to join the sentences with kute. So, basically with I adjectives. Kono ringo wa aka kute, amai des, akai is red, amai is sweet. So, it is red and sweet. Then we have chikatetsu wa yasukute, hayai desu. It is cheap and fast. Kyo wa isogashikute, taihen desu. Very, very busy and extremely difficult to manage. Taihen is degree of something. Taihen means very. Then we have kyoshitsu wa hirokute akarui desu. Hiroi is big, spacious and akarui is bright. Dores wa atarashikute kawaii. Mariko wa kirei de shinsetsu desu. So, now you can see we were combining I adjectives over here and now we have two na adjectives over here. So, well kirei de shinsetsu desu. When you join two na adjectives, de is to be used. Michi wa benri de hiroi desu. It is a convenient and big huge road. Again de because this is a na adjective. Now, na adjective is being combined with i adjective. So, you will see that the first adjective changes and the second one remains as it is. That has to be kept in mind. Now, fill in the blanks with proper verb forms. Well, let us see what it is. Watashi wa kono kaban o kaimasen deshita. Haha ni moratta or moraimashita. We did it in our previous lessons. We have done Moraimas, agimas, itadakimas, sashi agimas, kudasaimas, and kuremas. So, well, haha ni moraimashita. From haha, you can also put haha kara moraimashita instead of ni. Tanaka san wa watashi ni ningyo o kureta or kure. Mashita, he gave it to me. One san ni kono shosetsu o moraimashita, moratta. One san ni. Again, the subject over here is understood. This is a general practice in Japanese. Kino tomodachi kara akai shatsu o moraimashita or moratta. Mariko san, 
子供はどこにいますか電話で教えてください。Please tell me. 電話で。So you have done ください。You can use てくださいよ。私の妹は田中先生から面白い本をいただきました。or いただいた。for 先生いただいた。家内のお母さんは私に高いセーターをくれました。or くれた。入学式に何をもらったか、何をもらいましたか、can be used. Well, practice how to request people to do something for you. So, we have this picture over here. Koko ni kai te kudasai. We have done this te kudasai form, which is a request. You make a request to do something for you. So, well, there's another one. He is going over to the post office. This sign signifies it's a post office. And posto ni. Irete kudasai, please put it. Then we have someone making something, chef probably, or maybe just Oto san is making something at home and gohan o tsukutte kudasai. So, this is a request to please make food. He is sitting on the chair, about to sit. So, dozo. Swatte kudasai. Those over here is request or actually permission to do as the verb is saying. And over here he is standing up so well. Dozo tatte kudasai. Please stand up. Well, there is another one over here. Match group A with group B and make proper sentences. So, well, these are all jumbled up over here and let us see what it is. バス停は銀行の前にあります。わ and に。に over here is for あります。which shows place にあります。shows something is there at a certain point or location。テレビの上に7つリンゴがありますか私は去年、家族と旅行をしました。家族と一緒に。can also be added over here。一緒に旅行をしました。that makes it very very clear。子供は公園で遊びたくないです。遊びたい。is I want to do。遊びたくない。is I do not want to。Do whatever the verb is saying. あなたはどんな車を買いたいですかどんな over here is what type of or which 車を買いたいですかうちはきれいで立派です。I just explained で is to be used with な adjectives. So, うちはきれいで立派です。You can also say うちはきれいで立派なうちです。So, when you are going to add a noun, then after な adjectives, な is going to be put over here. So, that has to be kept in mind. ラオさんはおととしヨーロッパへ行きました。Also, you can say 行ってきました。He has been. Or he went. タロウくんは一人で行きたくない。You can leave it here informal and you can also add 行きたくないです over here. 銀行はあのレンガのビールの隣です。銀行 is a bank. あの over here shows that the subject Is known to the speaker and the listener both. So, Ginko wa ano renga brick no beer no building no tonari next to this. Also, for this, you can replace this with arimas. 
tonari ni arimasu. Well, the last one is ryoshin wa indo no ega o mitai desu. They want to see. So, well, this is your assignment. And now we have a lot of things to do today. But before I actually start on what is given over here, I want to tell you something that we had done yesterday. Well, yesterday we did te form of the verb. If you remember, verb in te form. And I had explained group 2 how to make te form for group 2. Simple ta be ru ni ru ne ru. You can remove this over here and put te or ta be mas mi mas or ne mas. You can remove these three and put te form and you can add kuda sai. So, tabete kudasai, mite kudasai, nete kudasai. That is what we had done. I also told you that in group 1 there are a lot of exceptions and because of that group 1 becomes a little difficult to remember and to make the te form. Now, what I will do over here is I will explain how to make group 1. Now, you know the te form for group 1. You are a little familiar with that. You will be able to grasp it easily now. We have in group 1 verbs like uru, gambaru, suwaru as you did just now, swatte kudasai, then sawaru, hakaru. All these verbs you will see end in ru or u. Most of the verbs in group 1 will end in u or in ru. Over here all of them end in ru. So, what you do is you remove the ru from here and put t t e. If you remember I had told you group 1 is t t e and group 2 is t. So, well this is how you would make for the normal group 1 verbs. Now, I had also told you last time in your previous class that there are a lot of exceptions. All verbs ending in their dictionary form in ku, gu, bu, su, mu, nu, su and two vowels. So, all verbs in dictionary form in their plain form if they end in any of these over here then they will not follow this pattern. They will have a different pattern. I did introduce this pattern to you a little yesterday. Now, we will see how these are made. So, well, for example, you know the verb for write, to write, kaku, ka, the dictionary form or the plain form is kaku over here. Kaki mas. I am sure you remember this. So, well, how will you make it? Kaku. Ka ite. Ka ite. So, in ku it will be ite or kiku. That is how it is going to be. Then gu, nugu, nugu over here, nu, 
ide. This is going to be used. Nu ide kudasai. Nugu means to remove. Bu. Tobu. Tobu. Tobu means to fly. Now, we remove this over here and to nde kudasai. Then we have su, hanasu over here, ha na shite kudasai. Now, mu, this verb you have done, you have been doing yomu to read or nomu. Yomu to read and nomu to drink over here. So, well, yonde and nonde kuda sai. Then we have nu, shinu, shinde. Tsu, matsu or motsu will be matte or motte, tte. Then we have two vowels over here. This is also simple. This follows the normal pattern T T E pattern, these two au or kau, you know these two atte kudasai and katte kudasai. So, you will see there are lot of exceptions. The general pattern for group 1 is T T E, but as I told you yesterday, you have I T E, you have N D E you have I D E, you have S H I T E also in group 1. This is all te form for you. You can do it. Please remember when you are making te form, then always the dictionary form is very, very important for group 1. Now, we did te kudasai yesterday, verb in te form plus Kuda sai for group 1 and group 2 and group 3. Now, today I want to do something new, something more interesting. For example, for group 2 it is tabete kuda sai. Tabete kuda sai means please eat or yonde kuda sai. For example, I ask you and say, dozo minasan yonde kudasai. From the sheet that I have given you, yonde kudasai. So, what does it mean? It means that please read. It is a request I am making for you to please read or do as the verb is saying. Now, te form. Actually, by using te form, you say a lot of things, you can express better, you link sentences and in short, you say a lot of things. As you will see now, this is simple yonde kudasai, please read. But if I just add another te form over here, yonde mite kudasai, tell me what it means. What do you think it is? Yonde mite kudasai. I have put te form, verb in te form plus another te form plus kudasai. So, what does it mean? Can someone tell me? Well, yonde kudasai is very simple. Please read. And yonde mite kudasai. Mite is coming from mimas. Yonde Mite kudasai, please read and see.
is what it means. In a similar manner, you can have tabete mite kudasai. Please eat and see. You can also have kaite mite kudasai. You have done the te form, so you can join two te forms and put kudasai over here and request. In this pattern, mite is to be kept in mind. First te form plus always mite kudasai. Please read and see, eat and see, go and see, check and see, write and see, listen and see. So, anytime tabete mite kudasai. This is what we are going to do. We are going to practice it now and feel more comfortable. Now, there is a small radio conversation. Listen to this conversation. Now, as I have told you about te kudasai, te plus te kudasai, both, this conversation will become very, very simple. Let us hear first. Tanaka san no oto san no mise wa nan no mise desu ka? Denki sehin no mise desu. Denshi renji ya terebi nado ga arimasu. Eakon mo arimasu ka? Hai, eakon mo arimasu. Ima atsui kara mai nichi jiu dai gurai urimasu. Zehi muse ni kite mite kudasai. So desu ne. Eakon wo kaitai kara kondo no shiu matsu ni itte mimasu. So, well, what did you understand? I am sure it was very clear. Well, I will read it once again for you. This is a conversation between A and B. Hai. Tanaka san no oto san no mise wa nan no mise desu ka? Denki seihin no mise desu. Denshi renji ya terubi nado ga arimasu. エアコンもありますかはい、エアコンもあります。今、暑いから毎日10台ぐらい売ります。ぜひ店に来てみてください。そうですね。エアコンを買いたいから今度の週末に行ってみます。So well, it's a simple conversation. I will explain a few things and then as we go ahead, we will do the rest in class. Tanaka san no oto san no mise. Mise is a shop. Wa nan no mise desu ka? What do you sell over there? Denki seihin no mise desu. Denki is electrical and seihin is goods. No mise desu. Denshi renji, microwave and Terubi, etc. Nado ga arimas. There is denshi range, there is terubi. Eakon mo arimas ka? Air conditioners mo arimas ka? Hai, eakon mo arimas. Ima atsui kara mai nichi jiu dai gurai. Jiu dai is, dai is the counter for counting big things. Gurai urimas. Zehi mise ni Kite mite kudasai. Gurai, of course, I think we have done, and you know, gurai is approximately for things, and zehi means you must come. Zehi mise ni kite mite kudasai. Zehi tabete mite kudasai. Please eat and see how it is. You must, must eat and see how it is. Zehi ega o mite kudasai. Please watch the film. So, well, that is how zehi is to be used. So, this ne eako no kaitai kara I want to buy. Thus, kondo no shumatsu ni the coming weekend ni itte mimas. I will go and see. I will come to your shop. You can also add this polite verb. You have done it last time. Irashite kudasai. Zehi irashite kudasai. 
itte kudasai. Polite for itte kudasai or kite kudasai. Kuru or iku is irasharu. E R A S S S H A R U. That is the plain form of the verb for kuru and iku. Polite is irasharu. You have done more polite verbs. One you did last time and some you have done earlier for ageru. Sashi ageru for morau ita daku for taberu. Meshi a garu. So, I hope you remember this for these verbs over here. These are the polite verbs to be used to seniors, to people higher in rank or in a formal situation always try to use these verbs. It is important and it shows that you have done Japanese properly. Well, let us see what we have next. This is all in the script as you can see for all foreign words you will have katakana. So, kanji, hiragana, katakana all are used together in the script. Thus, it is essential that we learn all three. And of course, this is the explanation as you would say in English, not an exact translation. Well, let us practice zehi mise ni kite mite kudasai or zehi mise ni irashite kudasai. So, well, this is what you had in your conversation. So, we have sensei teaching in class and suru. So, sensei no koto o kite kudasai. Please listen to what sensei is saying. Then, nihongo o benkyo shite kudasai. You can have these two situations. Also, dozo hanashite kudasai. Then, nihongo o benkyo shite mite kudasai. Please learn, read, and see how Japanese is. Then we have kaku. Someone is writing something over here. Koko ni namae to jusho o kaite kudasai. Koko ni over here. Namae is name. To jusho is address o kaite kudasai. A simple request. Noto ni kanji o kaite mite kudasai. Koko ni noto ni notebook ni kanji o kaite mite kudasai. And then, hiragana de kaite mite kudasai. Write it in hiragana and C. So, this is how you can practice. There can be n number of situations like this. You can make them up on your own. Jibun de kaite mite kudasai. You can also have another one here. Jibun de kaite mite kudasai. Enpitsu de kaite mite kudasai. You can also have this. Why do not you try and write it in pen or in pencil? So, all these can be there. There is another practice for you. Let us see what it is. Well, again, kaku once more. Enpitsu o tsukatte kudasai. Please use a pencil. Enpitsu de kaite kudasai. Please write with a pencil. Enpitsu de kaite mite kudasai. So, please write and see in pencil. There could be a situation. Write and see whether it works all right or not, whether it is clear or not. So, well you can practice, you have these pictures over here, you can practice on your own, think up of a situation and use te kudasai or verb in te form plus mite kudasai. Now is your time, you have to do your assignments, you have to go over what we have done today. Well, choose the correct options. 
So, there is fill in the blanks, then do your kanji. So, the fill in the blanks by replacing time expressions kyo for kino and verbs in past form. So, well, today we have a listening comprehension for you. Listen to it very carefully and then answer the questions that are given here. And the conversation is between two people, A san and B san. Irashaimase, sumimasen, akai kutsu arimasu ka? Hai, arimasu. Sumimasen, misete kudasai. Okyakusan, size o hakatte mite kudasai. Kore wa dou desu ka? Iie, akai kutsu ga hoshii desu. Ah, wakarimashita. Sugu o mochi shimasu. Sumimasen, chotto chisai desu ga, mo chotto ooki no arimasen ka? Chotto matte, shirabete mimasu. Kore wa dou desu ka? Um, kore wa ii to omoimasu. Ikura desu ka? Gosen yen desu. Sonna ni takaku nai ne. Ja, sono kutsu ni shimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. So well, there is this conversation between A and B. Now, there is one thing which is new, sugu o mochi shimasu. Immediately, I will get it, is what is new. You can go over the conversation and answer these questions over here. Mise no hito wa nani o utte imasu ka? Okyaku-san wa nani o kai ni koko e kimashita ka? Okyaku-san wa nani iro no mono o kaitai desu ka? Mise ni sono mono wa arimasu ka? So well, this is what it is. And I think that's all. That's enough for today. You have lot of work to do, lot many things to learn now. I'll leave you here and we'll meet again soon. So well, till our next class. So minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.